Hey puzzlers, welcome back to Puzzle Pride. Today I'll be taking a look at one of my favourite types of puzzles, lock and key puzzles. So I absolutely love these types of puzzles. Let's dive into this one and see if this one is just enjoyable as some of the other lock and key puzzles that I've tried previously. Let's get into it. Okay, let's have a look at the lock and key puzzle. So to start off with, we've got the lock and we've got the key. Just having a look around this lock at the moment. So if you can see just there, we've got a keyhole, which the key does just fit into. We've also got some tiny little notches just up the top of the lock. And we've also got this mechanism just in the middle. So it looks like this part here actually raises up. So let's see if we can open this. So just having a look. So I notice when I turn this top mechanism. See how there's a tiny little hole at the bottom? And then when we lift it up, there's actually just a hole there in the lock that you can see. So the first thing I'm gonna try is putting this, pulling this up and putting the key in the lock. The key goes right in there. And then I'm just going to attempt to open it. Oh, that would have been that would have been too good if that had it opened just then. So I can't can't turn this at all. Nah, that's definitely not turning. What if I pull up while that key is in there? Nope. No, definitely not budging. As soon as I take the key out, that little piece just falls back down. Give me that. How awesome. So I can't pull this up. What if I use, so I'm just having a look at this key. The key actually has a tiny little notch at the end of it. So what I'm thinking is, what if I open this lock to that, and then instead of putting the key in, I put the notch in the hole and then push down. No. trying to see if there's anything else on this key because one the key the key seems to fit into the groove of the lock but it's not moving at all I'm wondering whether the key is actually just a decoy or not also wondering what these two little notches are right up here one and two on the lock they've got to be somehow connected to opening it. Just, it looks like, so this thing moves side to side slightly. I can't pull it up though. That may be how this is working. That little, that tiny little notch that you saw over here, it's actually stopping this from rotating that way. I'm wondering if this other little notch actually stops it from rotating the other way. So let's see if I can open this. So I just turned it to it where it's open. I'm trying to move this across. 
the map, it's not budging. If I turn it a bit more till it's closed. Oi! Oh, it's actually. It's actually. Oh, the key's staying up now. Hey, there we go. There it is. Oh, that one's really tricky. There we go, we've got the opening of the lock. And the actual latch is staying up now, which is interesting. So if I move this across, and when it gets to that closing point, that latch should just drop down. There we go, drop. So that latch somehow in here is actually stopping that from rotating. But the trick is, we have to turn, so you might be thinking, okay, I've got to open it there by turning this top notch. So there's actually two openings in this, but you can actually only turn this top piece while the opening up here is not showing. So very tricky, I, li I really like this puzzle. It's quite frustrating because when I initially got the puzzle, I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm thinking this, this lock bit comes up, you know, that's how it opens. But what, what gave this puzzle away was the two tiny notches just around the outside here. So that's what really gave it away. I had to think, what are they there for? One of them stopping it rotating that way. So I figured the other one had to stop this rotating the other way, which it did. So the key here. Just a decoy, decoy key. You don't actually need the key to solve this lock. Very smart because I was trying for trying for a little while to use this key to open it. And uh, yeah, the key is not the solution. So great little lock and key puzzle. I would recommend this for anyone who just wants a relatively easy puzzle uh, to get started. It's a great little lock and key puzzle. Thanks for watching again, guys. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. And I will post another puzzle next week. I'll see you then. Bye.